In the beginning, there was a click. Ooh. Hey guys, and welcome to It's Alive. So this is kind of like a live simulation game where we play as a god with, um, with a bunch of creatures. I think the introduction said there was three different types of creatures. And so what we do is we drop down food for them. And if they see the food, they will eat it. And if they eat a certain amount of food, they will reproduce. Mind you that resources are extremely limited. As you can see, our food does go down. So we can't just put them down, put them all down willy-nilly. Another thing is that the eggs that they um, hatch doesn't necessarily turn to the same species as them. So as you can see, this worm here is doing something. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. I think it's like providing food. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. And this other worm-like thing is moving around eating the food. Okay. The catch here is that as God, we only have so much food we can give them. So once they run out of food and their hunger goes too low, they will resort to eating each other. Um, each different species will, will have a special um, ability. Um, for this small worm-like thing, I assume is that they can produce food. For this other, I don't know what that is, centipede-like thing is moves fast. And this circle thing shoots. Long story short, we kind of just watch how these creatures evolve and um, and survive, I guess. Oh, and another mechanic that the game did mention is that each creature also has a certain amount of vision. We can't exactly see it, but um, they are programmed to have a certain amount of vision, so. so that they won't just be able to see the food if I lay it in one corner like that. Okay. But you get it, if there's not enough resources, uh, but too much population, eventually they're gonna have to eat each other to survive. I'm gonna drop some food here on this one corner, drop some food here, and then we'll see what happens. And all those circle things are gone now. Okay, so this time I put down all my food again. I'm gonna see what happens. Hopefully another result comes out, but so far it seems like um, it seems like the centipede-like dudes are the ones winning it all. Also, if I'm not crazy, this guy looks different from this guy. It's like it's on its tail end. It's slightly different. That's fascinating. Maybe they do have some variations other than just having three types. Okay, we'll see if these coconuts can do something about um, the... I don't know what these are, rushers? Ooh, I'm sorry, my dude. I put down some food for you and you got eaten alive. Can I put the food outside? Is that a thing? Can you come outside, my bro? Well, I can't put the food outside of its little enclosure box. Oh, it can go outside. Let's try to see if we can breed a bunch of these outside. That'd be real cool. Okay, so I've decided to restart the run and see if we can like optimize it so that we have all our food drawing a fine line outside so all the eggs will be outside. I'm just gonna spam this. As soon as this bug notices this trail of food, 
he will lay all of its eggs outside which will allow us to kind of have like a bunch of those producers outside hopefully those producers do not um, do not what do you call this uh, go into the square because I need them to stay outside so that they can produce food indefinitely for us okay, I'm gonna leave a trail out hopefully he finds this trail come on come on you can find it you can find it there we go there we go oh my god you missed it you can do it! Fight against your instincts! Go, my little man! You're failing horribly! What are you doing? No! What are you guys doing? Alright, there we go, there we go. There's still a huge trail of food here, which I would like them to actually be able to- Okay! Unfortunately, it seems like the worms do still eventually go back into this little um, square. And the only possible way I can think of keeping these producer worms alive is that if none of these other bugs go hungry, ever. Which is nay impossible, obviously. Nay impossible. So another observation I was able to make is that these coconuts do not attack each other unlike the little worm things, the centipedes. The coconuts do not attack each other which is great because it will allow us to have a um, sort of like a symbiosis here I guess. Hopefully the coconuts do not attack the worms either because we now have like a 3 worm to 4 which is not the optimal the ratio you want for producer to consumer but at the very least we have almost the same amount of producers and consumers so hopefully these coconuts won't go hungry have enough food to finish the word <laughs> okay so apparently oh there we go we got some food again three four five we're, we're close to finishing this we're close to finishing this word three four hey, what the hell I'll do that nah, will do so yeah there you have it that was it's alive it's a fun little simulation game there's not much going on just yet but this is actually as the developer had said, this is actually just a, kind of like a testing to test out all the mechanics he has placed in. I'm actually quite excited to see what this would develop into. Um, I'd definitely like to see more variation or um, variety deviation from like the original species. That'd definitely be fun to see. And if you want, you can try to keep your species alive for as long as possible. Um, all you have to do is just get more small squiggly producer worms than you get predators. Anyway, you can try it out for yourself in the link in the description below. And as always, till next time.